Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning English. This is Colin. Hello, everybody. This is Cecilia. 欢迎大家收听早安英文 Hey, Colin, look at this picture. Do you know her? Come on. How old do you think I am? <laughs> of course, I know her. It's Britney Spears. Ah,、uh, I thought you would know. It's just you might not remember her as she looked in this picture. 我以为她在这个照片里的这个造型你应该认不出来了 Ah,、uh, you mean with this haircut? Yeah, I remember reading the news about her shaving her head. Ah,、uh, 怪不得，好像她剃平头这个事儿确实还上新闻来着 Ah,、uh, she was really popular when I was in high school. But since then, every time I heard something about her, it's negative news. She seemed pretty、um, troubled, I would say. Yeah, well, to the extent that whenever her name is brought up, people would think of the image of her with a shaved head attacking a photographer's vehicle with a an umbrella. <laughs> yeah. 但是最近啊，布兰妮再次引起了所有媒体的注意。她在洛杉矶法院里面第一次亲口告诉所有人，她被父亲控制监管的十三年里的遭遇。那这十三年来，他可以说是遭受了非人的折磨，非常之令人愤慨。So in today's episode, we'll be talking about this incident. When I first heard of Britney Spears, she was、uh, the girl donning a schoolgirl uniform for a, a music video for her hit. I think it was called "Baby One More Time." Ah, yeah, it was a real hit. 当时这首歌可以说是火遍了大江南北啊，都火到大洋彼岸来了。那 hit 就是形容这种唱片。电影或者说戏剧的成功。Yeah, if a CD, a film, or play is very popular and successful, you can call it a hit. So after that hit came out, she was、um, quickly dubbed the Princess of Pop. Hmm, the Princess of Pop. It was in 1999, right? Yeah. It was the year of、uh, Backstreet Boys and <laughs> Destiny's Child. <laughs> Spears really brought something different with her girl next door,、uh, who's unafraid to be a little wild image. Girl next door who's unafraid to be a little wild. <laughs> 就是有一点点狂野的邻家女孩嘛。那感觉这个形容确实非常之精准啊。我们常常形容这种甜美又有亲和力的女孩子叫做邻家女孩。那其实英文里面呢也有同样的说法，就叫做 girl next door， 非常好记啊。Yeah, and she kept up showing up and everywhere in magazines, on the charts, and in many provocative music videos. Yeah, she was everywhere. <laughs> 用我们现在的话说，就是当红炸子鸡呀、啊，频频出现于各大杂志排行榜，还有音乐录影带之中。那我们常说的 Billboard 排行榜，还有什么呃百大 DJ 排行榜？那这种某某排行榜，我们就用 chart 这个词来表示就好了。Okay, so, um, well, how do you like her music? Honestly, not my favorite, except the one every time, which I loved in middle school. But I can't totally see her status as a trailblazer. She put so much sexual energy in her songs, like "Oops, I Did Again,"、uh, "Toxic," and "Give Me More." And later stars like Miley Cyrus, Selena Gomez, Ariana Grande were all kind of influenced by that. Yeah, I think it's fair that she called her a trailblazer. A trailblazer is a person who is the first to do or discover something, and so makes it possible for others to follow. 嗯，也就是我们说的开拓者、创始人，或者说先驱。那这个单词呢，可以和动词短语 blaze the trail 一块去记啊。那 trail 呢，它作为名词就可以指这种林间小道，而 blaze 做动词，它有一个其实不太常用的意思。叫做在树皮上刻路标，所以这个 blaze a trail 其实就是指开辟道路、开拓的意思。So for example, do not ask whether we should backtrack. Ask how we can blaze a new trail. 嗯，翻译过来就是不要问是否走回头路，要问如何开辟新道路。嗯，很有哲理哈。So what happened then? How did she flop? Well, with that power came plenty of criticism. Ah,、yeah? uh, of course. Some of the things she did really can be called、mm, wise. Still, those must be really dark days for her when headlines criticizing her were everywhere. There is、um, much more awareness and discussion today about the damaging effects of fame on the mental health of artists. But back then, people really didn't give it much a thought. Hmm. Just because of this, ah, in 2008, Brad Pitt's father sued Brad Pitt for having a mental disorder and for using drugs to deal with his anxiety. 申请了对成年子女的监护权，从此掌握了他六千万美元的资产，并且对他的人身自由进行了管控。Well, according to Spears herself, this conservatorship is doing me way more harm than good. 
She described her court-ordered conservatorship as abuse, and you know, said she just wants her life back. 嗯，这也是她以及她的支持者们目前的诉求啊，就是撤销她父亲对她的监护权。那这里最关键的这个词呢，叫做 conservatorship。它指的就是监护人对被监护人财产的保管或者监护，而布兰妮呢，在形容他父亲对他的监护的时候，用到了一个词叫做 abusive。那它就是 abuse 虐待这个词的形容词形式，虐待的。Well, I think it's totally fine to call this relationship abusive.、Mm -hmm. She was forced to go on tour and perform. She was also forced to take medicine against her will. Yeah, you know what's the part that sounds most unacceptable to me? Under the control of her father, she wasn't allowed to start a family with her boyfriend. She wasn't allowed to even ride in her boyfriend's car alone. Yeah, it just makes people angry to hear about things like that. Spears fans and activists gathered as part of a hashtag Free Britney rally. Multiple other similar rallies were scheduled for today across the country and internationally in hopes of bringing an end to her conservatorship、mm -hmm. case. 他曾经是我们青少年时代的偶像啊，是很多人对于这个欧美乐坛的启蒙。但是与此同时呢，他更是一个人，一个母亲。曾经呢，还是一个因年少成名而过早暴露在世界面前的少女。Her struggles have made it possible for others to be more open about their own. You know, she deserves compassion. Right, she's earned it, and it is as much a part of her legacy as her music. 那我们见证了她的脆弱，也目睹了外界和家庭的伤害如何让她挣扎。And we're all the better for it if we take that lesson to heart. So thanks for listening, everyone. This is Colin. This is Cecilia. See you next time. Bye. This podcast is from Morning English. 学口语就来早安英文。